Yes, here at the National Sports Stadium, we are live on Zim Papers Television Network. It's Ash Tikiwa here with you in the morning. First of three matches we got for you today. On this page, on this channel, hashtag ZTN Sports. The players will take advantage and take a water break. It's 31 degrees Celsius. It is a warm morning. So if you're just joining us, a warm welcome. <laughs> hey, rentals in the pink strip. Harare City in the yellow and blue. I'll sum it up for you. In the 14th minute, the rentals were awarded a penalty by the centre referee, Brighton Chimene. Why? Because Tinobenza was failed by the centre-back for Harare City, Spencer Masunda. Brighton Majari, he stepped up and sent Prosper Chigumba the wrong way. And the rentals lead. Last week, there were three penalties in their game against Caps United. That was the rentals. Today they've got one and they scored. Herentals yet to win in this Chibuku Super Cup. They are bottom of, of Group A of the Sarare Group looking for their first win. Their coach, Kumbira Mutue Guzia, well, he said so today, he said so last week. They want to finish strong and finish with dignity. Prince Tafiri Muta back on his feet. Seems to have recovered. It will take a bit of time, I guess. This seems to be okay. He will continue. It is a free kick to her rentals. Prince Tafiri Musa is on the ball. Urges them to go forward. He will loft it long. Restarts the action now. I don't know, maybe he's feeling the, those after effects of that injury. Puts the ball out for a throw in. He knows in Zambezi now with the ball for Arari City. Clive Rupia, back to Zambezi. Now to Jerich Pangura. Looking to play, was it a given goal? Clive Rupia, that doesn't work out. He knows in Zambezi, get the throw in there. For Harare City. Looking for a way back into this match. Looking for an equalizer. Ben Musaka taken away there by Kelvin Bingala. Now to Clement Zimondi for a rentals. Outfield pass. The well, last touch was of Zucomborero Bizek. It is a throw into a rentals. Tatenda Tawengwa. Gets the ball for Arari City. Plays it now with Emmanuel Mandiranga. He's got the ball. Back to Tatenda Tavengwa. Ben Musaka. Jerich Pangura. A throw in to Arari City after all that. Shukomborero Bizek will take the throw. Back to Marshall Machazane, the captain for Arari City. Shukomborero Bizek. Now to Marshall Machazan, and another lofted pass. You know it's coming. You know St. Zambezi. Clive Rupier. Spencer Masunda. Switches play. Oh, that was beautiful. Jukomborero Bizek. Ben Musaga. Back to Bizeki. The cross comes in. Captain for Rentals. Gibson, you know, Vaita is up. An offside call there. So Prince Tafiri Mutsa will get the ball. Walk slowly. They are leading. Half an hour gone here at the National Sports Stadium. Herentals 1, Harare City 0. Brighton Majarira. With the goal in the 15th minute. A penalty for Herentals. After Tino Benza was failed by Spencer Masunda. If it stays like this, it will be a first win for a rentals in this Chibuku Super Cup. Maybe that message of dignity will start to make sense. If they do win today. For Harare City. Looking to qualify. Looking to be the final team to qualify. For the quarterfinals of the Chibuku Super Cup. Already seven teams are in. From this Harare group, just Dynamos. They are guaranteed top spot. Dimbara in action later on today. 
second place still to be determined inside the Harare City. Caps United. Clive Rupia with the ball. Looking for Emmanuel Mandiranga. That's cut out. Jerich Pangura gives the ball away. Now the counter is on for rentals. William Kapuma. Prosper Jugumba alert to the action. He tidies up. Immediately finds Ben Musaka. Will William Manondo out on that right hand side. A free kick to Harare City. Tatenda Tavengo. Innocent Zambezi. Spencer Masunda. Now to Marshal Machazani. Looking for Jerich Pangura. That's shut down. Spencer Masunda. Now to Prosper Jigumba, the goalkeeper for Harare City. Tatenda Tavengwa. A oh, lovely play. Emmanuel Mandiranga. A cross in. Cut out by Rentals. Tatenda Tavengwa with the ball now. Rentals. Harare City restart. He no send Zambezi. Lovely interchange with Clive Rupia. Back to Spencer Masunda. Now to Marshall Machazani. Harare City always start from the back there. That's the philosophy of Luigi Tembe. Innocent Zambezi, Spencer Masunda. Now firmly into the rentals half. Now to Innocent Zambezi. Can he get the ball? He gets the ball. Last touch of Wilmore Chimbetu. Arari City looking for a way back. They've got the position. Got most of the chances as well. But no goals. 33 minutes gone. Rentals won Harare City nil. Innocent Benza seems to be walking to the touchline. Meanwhile, Emmanuel Mandiranga takes the corner for Harare City. Punched away. Tatenda Tavengwa. Now to Emmanuel Mandiranga. It's a cross in. Marshall Machazani with the header straight into the arms of Prince Tafire Musa. And he will take his time. Positive moments from Harare City. No goal so far for them. Stuart Rentals leading by a goal to nil. 14th minute, 15th minute penalty by Brighton Majarida. Nuzin Zambezi. Now to Emmanuel Mandiranga. Gets the ball from William Manondo. A free kick to Arare City. Pressing for an equalizer here at the National Sports Stadium. Manuel Mandiranga is on the ball. Innocent Benza is in the wall. Brighton Chimene steps away. He says, let's get on with it. Spencer Masunda with a shot. Tipped over by Prince Tafire Musa. Left foot shot. Prince Tafiri Musa saw it all the way, tipped it over. Emmanuel Mandiranga goes across the field to take the corner now. Thirty-five minutes gone. Rentals one. Harare City nil. Emmanuel Mandiranga with the ball. William Manondo with a header. That was wide. A goal kick to a rentals.
or Prince Tafire Munsa, the goalkeeper for your rentals. Seems to have motioned to the referee that he needs some attention. Immediately, the referee sounded the medical team. They are there now. Prince Tafire Munsa. He had an injury area on in the match. He was kicked in the face or in the chest by Clive Rupia. Maybe feeling the after effects of that. It is close to the head, maybe a head injury. So they will take their time and they will be careful about this. Brighton Chimene, the center referee, is close to Prince Tafiri Mutsa as he gets treatment. And their rentals coach, Kumbre Mutue Kuzio, takes, takes advantage of the situation, gets a word in with Tino Benza on the touchline. He's got Will Mochimbeto also there. Meanwhile, Prince Tafiri Mutsa, the goalkeeper for your rentals, getting some treatment. He's on his knees. Okay, stands up now. Walks gingerly. Looks like he will continue. The referee walks away. Seems everything is, everything is in order. Prince Tafiri Musa will take a goal kick. 37 minutes gone. Here at the National Sports Stadium on a warm, warm morning. 31 degrees. Yes, it's that warm. Herentos 1, Harare City 0. Brighton Majarira with a goal after 15 minutes, a penalty. Prince Tafiri Musa gets a signal from the referee, lofts it forward. Clive Rupia tries to get the ball. And succeeds, he gets a throw in for his effort. Innocent Zambezi with the ball, throws it to Ben Musaga. Shifts it wide, Jukomborero Bizek. William Manondo, back to Jukomborero. Cross comes in. Keeps on Genova, the captain for Orientals, tight is up. Tafadzwa Jim Feld. A free kick to a rentals. And they will take their time. Just try and disrupt that rhythm of the opposition. They are leading as a rentals by goal to nil. Offside, Ntino Benza. But the action continues. Spencer Masunda. Innocent Zambezi. Back to Spencer Masunda. Clive Rupia, under close attention from the goal scorer, Brighton Majarira. Will Mochimbeto with the throw for a rentals. Innocent Benza calling for it, flicks it on, looking for his son Tino. That's cut out by Spencer Masunda. Ben Musaka. Lovely touches there, one touch football. Will Mochimbeto with the ball now. Tafazwajimu cleared off the line there by Marshall Machazan. Kelvin Bingala. Wilmo Chimbetu. The cross comes in. Jerichi Pangura now with a counter for Arare City. Prince Tafire Musa gets the first. Now Tafazwajimu. Not of us, Wajim. A shot blocked by Marshall Machazani. Tatenda Tavengwa. Last five minutes of this half. Clive Rupia now with the ball. Oh, he's failed by Will Mochimbeto. Lovely touches there by Rentals. It culminated in a shot from Tafaz Wajim that was cleared off the line by Marshall Machazani. Rentals looking to make it two. And a yellow card. Good refereeing by Brighton Chimene. Because it wasn't the build-up to that rentals chance. 
Innocent Zambezi is yellow carded. He was sent off in the game against Caps United. So Innocent Zambezi yellow carded. The ref played an advantage as the rentals were attacking. First booking of the day. Now Tinobenza. No close attention there. He gets the ball. Tafazwa Jimu goes forward. Kelvin Bingala, one on one with the print. Prosper Chigumba. Messes up the chance. Prosper tidies up. Harare City on the counter now. Cleared away by Brighton Majarira. Well, amazingly, it was three strikers for a rentals versus two of the defenders for Harare City. Kelvin Bingala got the ball. One on one with Prosper Chigumba. Took his time. Emmanuel Mandiranga. And got the ball away from him. Prosper Chigumba tied it up. In the Harare City are still in this game. Tatenda Tavengwa. Shikomborero Bizeki. Anxious moments for Harare City. Lloyd Chitembo has got his hands on his hips. He's wondering what's going on with his defense. A free kick for Orientals. Mutafadzwa Jim is still on the ground. Referee asks him whether or not he can continue. He gets up. Shibusis. Zibusiso Ruguju would take the free kick. Looking for Tino Benza. He finds him. Tino Benza, full of running there. Kelvin Bingala with a shot. Cleared away by Spencer Masunda. Wilmo Chimbetu tries to tidy up. Clive Rupia now leads the counter for Harare City. Still Clive Rupia. But after all that, Clement Zimondi wins a throw in for her rentals. For these last three or four minutes, we had lots of action. We had a goal line clearance for Marshall Machazani. And a one on one between Kelvin Bingala of her rentals and Prosper Chigumba. Prosper won that battle. But at the end of all that, the Steel Rentals won Harare City nil. A 15th minute penalty separates the sides. The goal scorer, Brighton Majarira. Play continues. Wilmo Chimbetu for a Rentals. He'll take the throw. Looking for Kelvin Bingala. Another throw to a Rentals. Innocent Benza asks for the ball from the ball boy. He gets it. He will leave it for Wilmo Chimbetu. Both coaches on their feet. Kumbra Mutueguzia. We well, asked for a strong finish. Her rentals are leading now by a goal to nil. Clive Rupia. Now oh, he beats his man. Wilmo Chimbetu recovers. Now back to Wilmo Chimbetu. Kelvin Bingala. Innocent Benza. A oh, lovely touch there. Back to Kelvin Bingala. It's cut out by Marshall Machazani. Emmanuel Mandiranga. Ben Musaka. Looks for a way forward. Ben Musaka fights for the ball after losing it. Jikomborero Bizeki. You restart it. Tatenda Tavengwa. On 45 minutes. Into optional time. There were a few stoppages, especially the Rentals goalkeeper, Prince Tafri Musa. Spencer Masunda. Marshall Machazani. Tatenda Tawengwa. Now 
Now to Jerich Pangura, lovely turn. Ben Musaka. Shkomborero Bizeki, Tatenda Tavengwa. Lofts it high, looking for Innocent Zambezi. That was just too high for him. Well, that lofted pass, you know where it comes from. It is a signature of the coach, Loichi Tembe. During his playing days, he loved that one. Go to training. Some point during the training, he enters the field. He does what he does best. Those lofted passes. This is a signature of the coach. Yeah, it is a feature of this game today for Harare City. Still looking for an equalizer. Prince Tafire Muta, goalkeeper for rentals. You take the goal kick. Two minutes into optional time now. 47 minutes by our count. Manuel Mandirang. That was coolly done by Tafaz Wajimu. Rentals have a throw in. Shibusiso Ruguju. You take the throw. He finds Prince Tafire Mutsa, his goalkeeper. Lofted forward. Looking for Tafaz Wajim. Prosper Chigumba. A throw in for rentals. You know, St. Ben's asking for the ball. The ref finally blows for half time after three minutes. Of optional time, Herentos won Harare City nil. 15th minute penalty converted by Brighton Majarira. That separates the two sides here at the National Sports Stadium. Group A of the Chibuku Super Cup. This would be a first win for Herentos if it stays like this. For Harare City, looking to qualify for the quarterfinals. They need at least a win or a draw. If they lose, they'll be hoping Caps United also fail to win against Dynamos later on today. All those matches are live here on Zim Papers Television Network. A warm morning and half time. So far, so good for Irentos. For Harare City, they'll be looking for a way back. With a goal line clearance, Marshall Machazani for Harare City, the captain, clearing. It's a Fazwa Jimu shot after Prosper Jigumba was beaten. Both sides have had, both sides have had chances. Emmanuel Mandiranga saved by Prince Tafiri Muta. Harare City with most of the ball, most of the chances, but no goals. Herentals are leading here at halftime, here at the National Sports Stadium. The equation is simple for Harare City. the couch of the TN. Unbeatable. There's a feeling that comes when you put that hand on the bed. Unmissable. We have reports of calf abusing fans. It's the most corrupt organizations ever. Certainly unmistakable. <laughs> Football meets music on the couch every Tuesday only on ZTN. <laughs> <laughs> Do you support any team locally? Yes. Which one? The Green Machine. And when it gets heated. When you, when you count people in the stadium, yeah. like 24, yeah. you, you see, we also, I also play for Ghana, they do want to be for this. Another small team. We cool it down with musical refreshments. Ooh, well, well, ooh, well, 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 mm, mm, Every Tuesday afternoon, only on ZTN. <laughs> Now, what can Dynamo uh, do from here? Chance and it's a goal! Why did he turn well? Why did 
and he still goes. Yeah. And it's there for Cap. Bill Antonio. Oh, what a Let's celebrate with the Chibuku Super Cup matches live on Zim Papers TV Network. watching the couch of that year. Unbeatable. There's a feeling that comes when you put that hand on the bed. Unmissable. We have reports of calf abusing fans. It's the most corrupt organization ever. Certainly unmistakable. Maybe <laughs> Mujikoro. <laughs> Football meets music on the couch every Tuesday only on ZTN. <laughs> 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 Do you support any team locally? Yes. Which one? The Green Machine. And when it gets heated, when you when you count people in the stadium, yeah. like 24, yeah, you, you see, we also I also played for Ghana. They we want the new team. Another small team. We cool it down with musical refreshment. Ooh, well, well, ooh, well, 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 mama. Every Tuesday afternoon, only on ZTN. <laughs> Dynamo, so do it from here. Chance and it's a goal! And he turned well, and he still goes. Yeah. And it's there for Cap. Bill Antonio. Oh, what a cracker! Let's celebrate with the Chibuku Super Cup matches live on Zim Papers TV Network. You're watching the couch of that year. Unbeatable. There's a feeling that comes when you put that hand on the bed. Unmissable. We have reports of calf abusing fans. It's the most corrupt organization ever. Certainly unmistakable. Maybe <laughs> Mujikoro. Football meets music on the couch every Tuesday only on ZTN. <laughs> Do you support any team locally? Yes. Which one? The Green Machine. And when it gets heated, when you when you count people in the stadium, yeah. like 24, yeah, you, you see, we also I also played for Ghana. They we want the new team. Another small team. We cool it down with musical refreshment. Ooh, well, well, ooh, well, 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 mama. Every Tuesday afternoon, only on ZTN. <laughs>
Now, what can Dynamo Sir do from here? Chance, and it's a goal! And he turned well, and he still goes. Yeah! And it's there for Gat. Bill Antonio. God knows Muruera. Oh, what a cracker! Let's celebrate with the Chibuku Super Cup matches live on Zim Papers TV Network. Watching the couch of the TN. Unbeatable. There's a feeling that comes when you put that hand on the bed. Unmissable. We have reports of CAF abusing fans. It's the most corrupt organizations ever. Certainly unmistakable. Maybe <laughs> Muzikoro. Football meets music on the couch every Tuesday only on ZTN. <laughs> <laughs> Do you support any team locally? Yes. Which one? The Green Machine. And when it gets heated. When you, when you count people in the stadium, yeah. like 24. Yeah, you, you see, we also, I also play for Ghana, and they want to be the Another small team. We cool it down with musical refreshment. Ooh, well, well, ooh, well, 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 mm, mm, mama. Every Tuesday afternoon, only on ZTN. <laughs> Dynamo, sir, do it from here. Chance, and it's a goal! And he turned well, and he still goes. Yeah! And it's there for Gat. Bill Antonio. God knows Muruera. Oh, what a cracker! Let's celebrate with the Chibuku Super Cup matches live on Zim Papers TV Network. You're watching the couch on ZTN. Unbeatable. There's a feeling that comes when you put that hand on the bed. Unmissable. We have reports of calf abusing fans. It's the most corrupt organizations ever. Certainly unmistakable. Maybe <laughs> Muzikoro. Football meets music on the couch every Tuesday only on ZTN. <laughs> Do you support any team locally? Yes. Which one? The Green Machine. And when it gets heated. When you, when you count people in the stadium, yeah. like 24, yeah. you, you see, we also, I also play for Ghana, and they want to be the Another small team. We cool it down with musical refreshment. Ooh, well, well, ooh, well, 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 mm, mm, mama. Every Tuesday afternoon, only on ZTN. <laughs> Yeah. 
Mm. Welcome back to the National Sports Stadium. A rentals versus Harare City, a substitution now for Harare City. Jerish Pangura comes out. Moses Mchenje comes in. So one change for Harare City. The rentals are unchanged. Brighton Chimene signals for the start of the second half. Jukomborero Bizeki tidies up. Ben Musaka with the ball. The rentals won. Harare City nil. Cleared away by Clemens Mondi into the arms of Prosper Chigumba, the goalkeeper for Harare City. Rentals leading by goal to nil thanks to Brighton Majarira with a penalty in the first half after 15 minutes. Harare City looking for a way back. Ben Musaka, crossfield ball. Offside signaled on Clive Rupia. Halftime substitution for Harare City. Loichi Tembe sends Moses Mchenje, a midfielder, into the team. Out comes their center striker, Jerry Chipangura. Tino Benza with the ball now. Was looking to play in Clemens Imondi, but tied it up by Prosper Chigumba. Emmanuel Mandiranga now for Harare City. To Ben Musaka, Tatenda Tavengwa. Shifts it wide. Spencer Masunda. Back to Spencer Masunda. To Ben Musaka. Again, a real city built from the back. Looking for a way in. Emmanuel Mandiranga, who plays a 1 2 with William Andono. That's cut out. Tafaz Wajimu with the ball now. The counter is on for Arari City. For a rentals, I beg your pardon. Fouled by Ben Musaka off Arari City. The second booking for Harare City. This time it's Ben Musaka. Innocent Zambezi was booked in the first half. Ben Musaka isolated. Had no option but to bring Tafazwa Jimu down. Tafazwa Jimu is still down. You get some treatment. On this near side. Harare City in yellow and blue. Your rentals in the all pink strip. Innocent Benza on the ball. 49 years old. Loves it forward to Tafazwa Jim. Back to Innocent Benza. The outfield pass. It's cut out. Now to Innocent Benza. Try something fancy. Doesn't come off. When it kicks out at Emmanuel Mandiranga, immediately apologizes. It's a free kick for all his efforts, Innocent Benz. Shikomborero Bizeki took the free kick. Tatenda Tavengwa ships it wide now. Now to Ben Musaka. Lofted pass, you know it's coming. To Innocent Zambezi. Now out wide to Kelvin Bingala. Looking for Tino Benza. He was found by Spencer Masunda. It was Marshall Machazan actually. The captain given a yellow card. Very frustrated Marshall Machazan. Probably had some choice words for both the referee and some of the rentals players. Gets a yellow card for all his trouble. So three players booked for Harare City so far. The latest is the captain for Harare City, Marshall Machazani. Frustration clearly creeping in into the Harare City play. And the referee says let's retake that free kick. Wilmore Chimbetu is on the ball. You look to loft it forward. He's got four options in the box. As a rentals leading by a goal to nil. Wilmore Chimbetu lobs it forward. Cleared away by Spencer Masunda. 
Now Ben Musaka looking for William Anondo. Installed now as the center striker after Jerich Pangura was pulled out. Ben Musaka. Spencer Masunda. Back to Ben Msaka. Emmanuel Mandranga with the run. Couldn't pick him out. Satenda Tavengwa. Zukomborero Bizeki. Decides to go to Innocent Zambezi. A cross in. Emmanuel Mandranga couldn't gather that one. Tino Benza leads the counter. Tafaz Gwajimu. Zukomborero Bizeki. Zukomborero Bizeki seems to have got the nasty end of that challenge, but it is a free kick to a rentals. Immediately flagged by the second assistant referee, Chanai Ndoro. Zukomborero Bizeki is still on the ground. The medical team will attend to him. Now for rentals, Zimusiso Ruguj is also on the ground. It was a nasty collision. A free kick to rentals. Both men are on the ground now. Shkomborero Bizeki for Arari City. He's sitting up. How he gets up. And he gets a yellow card after all that. Tries to get the ball, gets injured, gets up. The man in yellow gets a yellow card. That's the fourth man for Harare City to get a yellow card. Guess what? Just six minutes into the second half, three yellow cards dished out by Brighton Chimene to Harare City players. The latest one, Rikomborero Bizek. 51 minutes played in this match. It is still a rentals one at Ari City nil. Tafaz Wajim with the ball looking for Tino Benza. Last touch of Tafaz Wajim of a rentals, a goal kick to Harare City. Prosper Chigumba, no ball boys in sight. He goes behind the ambulance to get the ball. That's the goalkeeper for Harare City. Brings it back. He will take the goal kick. Trying to be quick. Plays it to Marshall Machazani. Back to Prosper. The goalkeeper for Harare City. He's going to loft it forward. Yes, he does. Will Mochimbetu with the ball. Back to Wilmore. He was in an offside position. Spencer Masunda. Who take the free kick. Plays it to his goalkeeper, Prosper Chigumba. For Arari City. Ben Musaka. Spencer Masunda. Clive Rupia. Was a given goal with Innocent Zambezi. It didn't come off. And a wayward pass. Harare City restart play. Marshall Machazane. Ben Musaka. Clive Rupia. Looking for William Manundo. That fizzles out. A goal kick for a rentals. Both coaches on their feet. Lechitem is folding his arms now. He's not happy. Looking for a solution. That's his team today, Harare City. Looking to be the final side to qualify for the quarterfinals today. Zukomborero Bizeki tidies up. Immediately, Prosper Chikumba plays it to Marshall Machazani. Emmanuel Mandirang takes his time on the ball, gets a free kick though. Clement Zimondi fouling Emmanuel Mandiranga. Zukomborero Bizeki quickly takes it. Ben Musaka. A substitute, Moses Mchenje. 
Mjenje dispossessed illegally. It's a free kick to Harare City. Ben Musaka with the ball. Now to Tatenda Tarengwa. Jukombolero Bizeki on the right hand side. The cross comes in. That's off for a goal kick. Disappointing. Look promising. No ball boys in sight. Harare City doing double duty. Looking for a goal and hustling for the ball when it goes out of play. Prince Tafire Nika. Tafire Muta, beg your pardon. He loves it forward. 55 minutes gone. He rentals one Harare City nil. Nice give and go. I was looking for Clive Rupia there. Prince Tafire Musa gathers. Zibusiso Ruguju. Tafaz Wajimu. Gives the ball away. Now to William Manondo. Moses Mjenje. A free kick to a rentals. Harare City coach Lloyd Chitembo is remonstrating. He doesn't believe there was anything in that. Gets a word in with the fourth official. It hasn't been going their way today. And there are signs that they are frustrated. That's you, Harare City. A trailing a rentals by a goal to nil. Goal scored in the 15th minute. A penalty. Converted by Brighton Majarira. Herentos looking for their first win. Harare City looking to qualify for the quarterfinals of the Chibuku Super Cup. Herentos first win in this tournament. They've had four draws. It's been the only piece of good news for Herentos. Uh, coach Kumbrae Muteguzia right now talking to the oldest player in the league on the touchline. Innocent Benz. He has told his team to play with dignity and to finish strong. Well, they're leading by a goal to nil. The captain for Erentos, Gibson Chinova, he was injured. He's up, walking gingerly so far. Seems to have recovered. He will continue. Erentos with a free kick, taken by their goalkeeper, Prince Tafire Musa. He's looking for Tafad Wajimu. A throw in to her rentals. A substitution now for her rentals. Their first one, Stanley Muroe. <laughs> Stanley Muroe will come in. Innocent Benza will go out. After 58 minutes. Jersey number nine at 49. Innocent Benza departs. In comes Stanley Murove. Continue with the action. Spencer Masunda for Harare City. Well, describe that piece of action how you will. For me, that wasn't football. I don't know what that was. But at the end of it all, a free kick to a rentals. Another player on the ground now, being attended to for a rentals. Tino Benza. The latest Herentos player who needs medical attention. Tino back on his feet. Looking to recover, seems to be holding part of his face. A free kick to a rentals in the meantime. 
you know, approaching the hour mark. It's still a rentals one. Harare City nil. Free kick comes through. Cleared away by Harare City. Tafaz Gwajimu. The cross comes in. And another penalty for Harare City. Spencer Masunda. The same man who considered a penalty in the first half. Does it again. The centre back for Harare City. Immediately. Brighton Chimene points to the spot. The medical team. They're working overtime today. They will attend to their Herentals player failed in the box. Herentals have another penalty. Spencer Masunda tussling for the ball. And he brought down a rentals player. Prosper Chigumba, the goalkeeper for Harare City, is remonstrating. What to no avail. In the first half, jersey number 15 for the men in pink, Brighton Majara. He scored the penalty that they were awarded. It's Kevin Bingala. He must have been felled there by Spencer Masunda. Seems to have recovered from his injury. Drinking some water. Walking behind the goal now. Brighton Majarira. He scored the first penalty. He gets the ball, puts it on the spot. So it is round two. Brighton versus Prosper. Prosper Chigumba, the Arari City goalkeeper, versus Brighton Majara. In the first half, Brighton won that battle, sent Prosper the wrong way. A penalty for Herentals, leading 1 0, looking for their first win in this Chubuku Super Cup 2021 edition. The referee, Brighton Jimene, is going to send Lloyd Chitembe off. A red card to the Arare City coach, Lloyd Chitembe. He's been sent off, probably for dissent. Still having some words with the referee. Being told to leave. Brighton Jimene, you know this, before the penalty is taken, Lloyd has sent off Arare City coach, Lloyd Chitembe. He's been sent off possibly for dissent. He was talking to the fourth official. Linesman Chennai Ndoro signaled to the referee, Brighton Jimene, and he came with a straight red card to Lloyd Chitembe, the coach of Harare City. And after all that, you've got a penalty. Brighton Majarira steps up for a rentals against Prosper Chigumba, the goalkeeper for Harare City. The rentals with a penalty. Majarira versus Chigumba. Brighton Majarra makes it 2 0. The rentals lead by two goals to nil over Harare City here at the National Sports Stadium. There goes the celebration. The rentals looking for their first win. They've got a 2-0 lead after 63 minutes here at the National Sports Stadium. The rentals to Harare City nil. Brighton Majara with a brace again. He sent Prosper Chigumba, the Harare City goalkeeper, the wrong way. This time into the top corner. Rentals got that penalty after Spencer Masunda brought down Kevin Bingala. That's a long way back for Harare City now here at the National Sports Stadium. They were looking to be the last team or the final team to qualify for the last eight today. 
They can still do it. That's your Harare City. And they will need Dynamos to do them a favor and beat Caps United today. Meantime, Herentos looking for a third. Spencer Masunda tidies up. It's cleared away. Emmanuel Mandiranga. William Kapuma. Tafadzwa Jimu. Herentos with the confidence, playing with the swagger. And William Kapuma, that fizzles out. Prosper Shigumba, the goalkeeper for Harare City. He's got the ball. Finds Tatenda Tavengwa. Ben Msaka, the substitute. Moses Mchenje. Now to Ben Msaka. Clement Zimondi. Tatenda Tavengwa. Looking for Clive Rupia. Cleared away by the goal scorer, Brighton Majarira. Two penalties for a rentals. Converted by Brighton Majarira. The coach for Arare City, Loichi Tembe, given a straight red card for descent before the second penalty was taken. Now you've got Nelson Matongore, the assistant coach for Arare City. He's on the touchline for Harare City, looking for a way back into this game. Well, the goal scorer, Brighton Majarira, seems to be in pain. He'll get some treatment. The latest rentals player to get treatment. Sixty six minutes gone in this Chibuku Super Cup match at the National Sports Stadium. The Arare Group, Group A, the bottom side Herentos, just four points. Not a single win could be today. Could, that could all change. Could get their first victory. They're leading by two goals to nil. And they've got 23 minutes before the end of the match. 23 minutes to hold on and get their first win. For Harare City, they're in second place in this Harare group with 13 points. Trailing Dynamos by, by 7 points. Dynamos are on 20. But crucially for Harare City, they lead Caps United by 5 points. Caps play later today in the Arare derby against Dynamos. Tafaz Wajim to Stanley Maroe, the substitute. Cleared away, Emmanuel Mandiranga to Ben Mzaga. Cut out by Wilmore Chimbetu. So the scenario, the equation, it gets a bit complicated for Harare City if they do lose this game. They will stay five points ahead of Caps United in third place. For Harare City to qualify today, Dynamos will have to beat Caps United. Seven teams are already into the quarterfinals of this Chibuku Super Cup. From the Harare group so far, Dynamos. From Mutari, Cranbourne Bullets who should finish top of their group, and Black Rhinos. In Bulawayo, Chicken Inn and Highlanders. And in Zishawan, after yesterday's Platinum Derby, it's FC Platinum, who finished top, and Gezi Platinum. Both sides, the 13 points, the FC Platinum finished top by a single goal, on goal difference. So seven sides in. Looking for the eighth team in the quarterfinals. Could be Harare City. But before the action today, they were the favorites to be that eighth team. A trailing by two goals to nil here at the National Sports Stadium. Herentals looking for their first win. Nicknamed the students. Seem to be dishing out a few lessons of their own today. Tatenda Tavengwa with the ball for Harare City. To Moses Mchenje. 
finds Emmanuel Mandiranga, Ben Musaka. The cross comes in. Cleared by Brighton Majarira. Solid display from him. Plus he's got himself two goals today from the penalty spot. Zukombrero Bizeki. Tatenda Tavengwa. Ben Musaka. Zukombrero Bizeki. It's cleared away. Stanley Marove. Concedes the foul. Emmanuel Mandiranga was felled. He's up on his feet. Spencer Masunda, the centre back, is also there, having a conversation. He moves away. Marshall Machazani puts the ball on the ground, the captain. 70 minutes gone in this match at the National Sports Stadium. Group A action in this Chibugo Super Cup. Herentos 2, Harare City 0. Two penalties for Herentos converted by Brighton Majarir. A coach sent off. His name is Lloyd Chitem for Harare City. Now because of the heat, the referee orders a water break. Both teams will gladly take it. It is 31 degrees. It seems to be getting warmer if you're here at the National Sports Stadium. The rentals still lead by two goals to nil. It will be water and conversation. Ferrari City looking for a way back into this match. To somehow find a formula and get them goals. For the rentals. Kumbra Mdeguzio said in his last two matches for them in this Chibugu Super Cup, I've got Arare City and Yada, Yada in midweek. Finish strong and play with dignity. The two goals for their troubles today. 20, 18 minutes to go before the end of this match. He'll be telling them to hang in there. Stay solid. Hydrate. It is a water break. And the referee has motioned them to get back on the field of play. So the equation for Harare City, for them to qualify for the quarterfinals, if it stays this way, if they lose by two goals to nil, they will need Dynamos to beat Caps United. And they are guaranteed, and then Harare City are guaranteed a spot in the final eight. And then next week, they will take on Craneborn Bullets in the quarterfinals of this Chibuku Super Cup. Now the action resumes. Mistake by from Prosper Chigumba. Throw in for your rentals. The action continues. Kelvin Bingala. Wumo Chimbetu. Play continues now. He rentals with the ball. Tafats Wajim attempting a volley. Didn't succeed. Clemens Imond with the ball. Wilmo Chimbetu with a cross. The header there from Kelvin Bingala goes wide. A substitution now for her rentals. Avi Mataranyika. Avi Mataranyika is going to come on. Jersey number 80. 
Last person I saw wearing number 80 was Ronaldinho back at AC Milan. Got number 80 in the local premiership in the Chibuku Super Cup. Avima Taranyika comes on. Kelvin Bingala exits after winning the second penalty for Harare City. He's been substituted. Oh, there was some off-field action there. 75 minutes gone. The members of staff for your rentals? It is a learning institution after all. Don't call them supporters, can we? Members of staff have come to cheer on the team. Seem to have an altercation with the Harare City security here. The play continues now. Shikomborero Bizeki, Tomasho Machazani, Innocent Zambezi, Humo Chimbetu, Stanley Marove, to the substitute Avimba Taranyika, ease off the ball, Moses Mchenje, Marshal Machazani. A free kick to Harare City. And the referee wants the ball put on the spot. Harare City are in no mood to do that. They take it quickly. Emmanuel Mandirang. Shukomborero Bizeki tidies up. Marshall Machazani. Tatenda Tavengwa. Shifts it wide. Innocent Zambezi. Looking for Clive Rupia. Headed away. Azibusiso Ruguju. Avima Taranyika. Loves it forward. Spencer Masunda gathers for Harare City. Marshall Machazani, the captain. Emmanuel Mandirang. The ball's out for a goal kick to Herentals Football Club. Prince Tafire Mutsa would take. The goal kick, 77 minutes gone. Oh, the ball was moving when he took it. So Prince is being told by Brighton Chimene, take the goal kick again and properly. Do it well, Prince. Okay, decides to loft it. Here he comes. There he goes. Goal kick is taken. Flicked on. Now Tino Benza has, has the ball. He's got acres of space. Cuts back. It's 3 0. Herentals 3. Harare City 0. The celebrations. Both on the field and off it. Herentals lead by 3 goals to 0. 3 goals. And at this point, it should be 3 points for Herentals Football Club. Stanley Maroe, the substitute, gets the third goal for Herentals, an assist from Tino Benza. Herentals get their third, and they should be their first set of three points in this Shubuku Super Cup. Immediately, Harare City make a substitution. Kudam Sharu comes in. Immediately restarts action. 78 minutes gone. Herentals 3. Arare City 0. Two goals from Brighton Majarida. And then just now a third from substitute Stanley Ma Murove. Who came on for Innocent Benza earlier on in the second half. Well for Arare City. You probably wouldn't have imagined a defeat of this magnitude to the bottom side in the Harare group. A rentals without a win in the competition. Nicknamed the students. They had been taking hard lessons. They're dishing out some of their own. Leading by three goals to nil here at the National Sports Stadium.
Group A action. With just over 10 minutes to go. Harare City, the objective today was to qualify for the quarterfinals. They can still do so even with this defeat. But now they need Dynamos to beat Caps United in the Harare Derby later on. The game starts at 3 p.m. It will be live on Zim Papers Television Network. From Mondoro, Harare Derby away from Harare. Harare City, if they lose, if it stays this way, will remain on 13 points. Third place, Caps United, are on eight points with just two games to go in this group. Avi Mataranyika had a cross. It evaded everyone. It is a throw-in to Harare City. They take it quickly. Ben Msaka. Looking for Clive Rupia. Ten minutes to go in this match at the National Sports Stadium. He rentals three. Harare City nil. Dynamos guaranteed top spot in this Harare group. They will take on third place Caps United. Who trail Harare City by five points. Caps have to win both their games to have any chance of qualifying for the quarterfinals. A loss for Caps or a draw for Caps United today against Dynamos in Darare City will qualify for the quarterfinals of this edition of the Chibuku Super Cup. Even with this defeat, if it does end 3-0 to Orientals. Kudamushar fighting for the ball. Now rentals dispossessed there. Tatenda Tawengwa tussling for the ball with William Chipuma. It's a free kick to Arari City. Moses Mchenje with the ball. Plays it to Tatenda Tawengwa. Emmanuel Mandiranga. Clive Rubia. Back to Emmanuel Mandiranga. Shut down by Zibusiso Ruguju. A corner kick to Harare City. The referee for today, Brighton Chimene, is awarded two penalties. He sent off Harare City coach Loi Chitem with a straight red card. He's been busy. Spencer Masunda. Kills it in. Marshall Machazan. Innocent Zambezi with a shot. Last touch came off Prince Tafire Musa. A goalkeeper for a rental. So it is another corner to Harare City. Looking for something. Looking for a goal. That's you, Harare City. Clive Rupia with the corner. Gibson Genova clears. All the way back to goalkeeper Prosper Chigumba for Harare City. A restart. Clive Rupia. Spencer Masunda. Loves it forward. Looking for Emmanuel Mandiranga. Finds him. Emmanuel Mandiranga. Cuts inside. Looking for that reverse pass. Couldn't find Kudamsharu. Kudam Sharu showing his experience there. Just over five minutes to go in this match at the National Sports Stadium. Chibuku Super Cup Group A action. Herentos three. Harare City nil. Stanley Murove, who scored the third goal for Herentos. Tries to clear Ben Musaka with the cross in. Prince Tafiri Musa 
gathers, gets the ball. He will take his time. They're leading by three goals to nil. They're looking for their first win. Five minutes to go now in this game. Tafaz Wajimu fails to control the ball. Jikomborero Bizeki who get the ball. Double substitution now for the rentals. Denzo Chimwemwe comes in. Tino Benza goes out. Blessing Majarira comes in. In for Tafaz Wajimu. So Tino Benz and Tafazo Jimu, they exit. Denzo Chimwemwe and Blessing Majarira. Come on. Meanwhile, Prince Tafire Musa goes down. I think for the third time in this match. The medical team are back on the field of play. Attending to him. Seems to be a cramp this time. Oh, you wonder. I mean, if it is a cramp, even his teammate could have done that. They took the whole medical team to come on just to give him treatment for a cramp. And Prince is up. The rentals will move up to, well, they'll stay bottom of this group, but they will have seven points, up from four points. They will still be number six out of six in this group. ZPC Kariba. Above them. They've got Yada, Caps United. Rentals will take their time. Wilmo Chimbetu getting the ball. You take the throw in. It will be a first win for a Rentals in this competition. And for Harare City, a second defeat to losing 1 0 to Dynamos in this group. Flag stays down. Denzo Chimwemi. The cross comes in with all the time and the space. At the end result, it is a goal kick to Harare City. Just three minutes before the 90. Moses Mchenje, dispossessed by Clement Zimondi. Tatenda Tavengwa. Nice turn. Manuel Mandiranga is calling for the ball. He finds Chikomborero Bizeki. Now to Emmanuel Mandiranga. Tries to find Clive Rupia. Give and go. Doesn't work out. Shut down there by Gibson Chino, by the captain for today for a rentals. Bizeki with the throw, Manuel Mandiranga, live group here, Manuel Mandiranga, back to Emmanuel, now Ben Musa, Gata Tenda Tawengwa, Kudam Sharu now, the cross comes in, cleared away by Brighton Majarir, now Brighton's brother, Blessing, He's up front for your rentals. Zibusiso Ruguju shepherds the ball out of play. Moses Mchenje gets the ball. Puts it on the spot for a goal kick for Prince Tafire Muta. The rentals goalkeeper. The latest injury for Orientals. But when you're leading 3 0, you want to protect your lead. I guess there are two ways to go about it. 
you delay the play, or you defend. And the stretcher is out. Brighton, she means the referee is motioning them to do it quickly and to exit. Five minutes added on. Optional time now. So into the first of five minutes. Added by referee Brighton Chimene. He rentals three. Harari City near. He rentals down to ten men. For the meantime. Prince Tafire Muta plays it with his captain, Gibson Chinova. He clears. Say throw in to Harare City. Tatenda Tavengwa. Back to Tatenda. And another red card. Referee Brighton Chimene has his red card. Tatenda Tavengwa seems to be walking. He knows what's coming. And the Arare City players are getting their hands on the referee. Marshall Machazani, Ben Msaka and Kudamsharu all there. The assistant referee he has gone there to support his match official, his colleague, Brighton Chimene. He's got a red card in his right hand. He's walking now. Tatenda Tavengwa has already gone off the field. So a red card to Tatenda Tavengwa, the Arare City player. I guess it just sums up the afternoon. A coach and a player sent off for Arare City. They trail by three goals to nil here at the National Sports Stadium. Tatenda Tavengwa, a straight red card. A rentals player, still on the ground, is sitting up now. A nasty challenge from Tatenda Tavengwa. Probably out of frustration. It's a bad day today for Harare City. Trailing by three goals. Came into this match looking to qualify for the quarterfinals with a win or at least a draw. Harare City down to 10 men. Tatinda Tavengwa sent off. We are in optional time. Man who was fouled was the substitute Ayuma Taranyika. Nasty challenge from Tatenda Tawengwa. Tawengwa was sent off. Straight red card. A free kick from Emmanuel Mandirang. Shoots high. A goal kick now to a rentals. Now, Brighton Shimeno had added five minutes of injury time. Of the latest skirmish, might just add more minutes. Ten men, Harare City, trail her rentals by three goals to nil. Two red cards, two penalties. Potentially a first win for her rentals in this Chubuku Super Cup competition. Just a few minutes away from their victory. For Harare City, demoralizing. Frustrating. Coach Loi Chitembe, sent off first for descent. He's in the stands. 
Nelson Matongorere, his assistant, is on the touchline. He rentals. Told to play with dignity and finish strong. They definitely are finishing strong. 3-0. Should be three points. Or could be four. Prosper Jigumba gathers that one there. Jukombore Robizek. Moses in change. No send Zambezi. Moses in change. Has taken away. Stanley Murove. Spencer Masunda now for Harare City. Back to Spencer Marua. Oh, the referee. He blows to end the match. Maybe end the Harare City misery for today. National Sports Stadium. Chubuku Super Cup Group A action. The Harare Group. Herentals winning this match by three goals to nil. That doesn't even tell the full story. Two penalties for Herentals converted by Brighton Majarida. One in each half. And then Stanley Murove. Got the third goal for a rentals. After coming on as a substitute, he substituted the oldest player in the league, Innocent Benza. For Harare City, well, there are two players sent off. Straight red cards or a player and a coach. Lloyd Chitembe, the Harare City coach, was sent off for descent before that second penalty for a rentals was taken. And then later on, Tatenda Tavengwa. After a challenge on Avi Mataranyika, the substitute for a rentals, he got a straight red card. So the log standings for you in this Harare group, Dynamos have 20 points, assured of uh, top spot in Group A. They take on Caps United at 3 p.m. in the Harare Derby. Harare City have 13 points. They're in second place. In third place is ZPC Kariba. They've got 11 after their win over Yada. And then after that, we've got Caps United on eight. Yada on eight. Her rentals move on to seven points in this Harare group. A first win for a rentals football club in this Chibuku Super Cup competition. And they did so emphatically. Three nil over Harare City. Two penalties for them. Blessing Majara with a brace. Stanley Murowe with the third goal. So Harare City started off needing a win to guarantee them a place in the quarterfinals. But now it gets complicated. The next game they will play Dynamos in midweek. Maybe they will have another chance. Next up for you on Zimpaper's television network. We'll give you Blauayo City versus Highlanders. That match will kick off at 1 p.m. And then after that, the Arare Derby at Baobab Stadium in Mondoro. 3 p.m. Dynamos versus Caps United. The first installment ended in a 1 0 draw. You had it live here at the National Sports Stadium on ZTN. Well, since then, contrasting fortunes. Caps trail Dynamos by 12 points. But it is a Harare Derby nonetheless. Demoralized, dejected Harare City with a coach and a player sent off. Brighton Chimene, the man in the middle today. He was a busy man. Two red cards, two penalties. But in the end, in warm weather here at the National Sports Stadium, Herentals beat Harare City by three goals to nil. A first victory for Herentals in the Chibuku Super Cup. Well, that's the action here. Always exciting. There's always some drama. You had it all here. Harare City players now out of sight, straight to the dressing room. Will be some choice words, I guess. Maybe not on the players, maybe on the officials from Harare City. You can imagine. But for rentals, a good day in the office for them. Play with dignity, finish strong. They won by three goals to nil today. They've got another midweek game against Yada FC. As we round up the group matches in this Harare group. 
So your rentals three, Harare City Neil. Next up, Bulawayo City versus Highlanders in Bulawayo. And then at 3 p.m., Dynamos versus Caps United. So it is a triple header live here on Zimpaper's television network. Stick with us. You get all the action. Chibuku Super Cup 2021 is brought to you by Chibuku. Chibuku, taste the goodness.